Hi, this is Steve with Zensoft, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to create a whole new web page. In the last several videos we discussed how to edit and rename the main menu tabs as well as the top navigational tabs or sub menus along the very top. We also walked through step by step how to modify and change the complete look and feel of the slider. And we also discussed how to edit and modify the static blocks here below. So all of these changes were on our home page and in this video we're going to create a brand new web page. Right now if I were to go to my resorts tab which previously was the products tab before it was renamed it'll take me to a products web page. So in this video I'll be creating a brand new web page and linking it to the resort tab. So let's get started by going to our dashboard or to WordPress and from here I'll hover over pages and select add new. So the first thing I'll do is enter a title and this is going to be a pretty simple page but I'll start by going to the fusion page builder and I'm going to choose a three-fourths container so just drag and drop as well as a one-fourth. So I'll go up to builder elements I'm going to grab an image frame drop that in here and for my one-fourth I'd like to have a checklist. Okay, on the image frame I'm going to go ahead and upload my image select it from the media library I'm going to change the size to large and insert into page. Save and under checklist first I have the icon color Let's go with the blue. It's going to put my icon in a circle as a default, which works just fine for me. So I'll leave it on default. For circle color, I'm going to choose a lighter blue. That'll work. And up at the very top, I can actually choose an icon. I like to go with this one here. Okay, yeah, scroll down to the bottom. Checklist item number one. So I can change the icon if I wish. I'm going to leave them all the same. I'm going to add my content in under visual. And for the first item on the checklist, I'm going to keep it very simple and call it beautiful. The add new list item. So for number two keep the icon the same call this one spacious add new list item again for the third one I'm going to put comfortable and I have a few others to add but let's save this and see what it looks like so far so I don't see my image here so let's take a look at that first. I uploaded this into the lightbox image, but I want it to display in the frame. So let's remove it here. And under image, go ahead and insert that into page. Save. Okay, now let's go to preview. Okay, and this is what I have so far. So I'd like these to be a lot larger. So I'll go back to edit page, go back into my checklist, change the item size, let's bump that up to 33, and I'm going to add in a few other items to my list. So I have a few others I'm going to go ahead and add in. Okay, so I finished adding a few other items to my list. So I'm going to save my changes. And I'm going to add one other feature to this page. So I'll pull in another container. Go up to Builder Elements. And I'd like this to be a button. So let's go in and edit this. So I'll be able to add in a URL. 
So when a customer clicks on this button, it'll take them to the appropriate web page. So I'll have to grab that and come back and put that in. Let's first go down to the bottom and I'll change the button's text to join now. Okay, then if I go back up a bit, I can change the size. Let's go with extra large. Button type, I like to go with 3D. Okay, under button style, I'm going to go with a blue. And I think I'll leave the shape as is. Right, let's go with round. I think that will kind of round the corners out. And there's all kinds of other options here as well. But I'll save this and let's see how this all looks. Okay, well that's pretty good. This won't work here, so I'll need to adjust that. I have my call to action button down here. Right now that won't take me anywhere. So let's grab the appropriate URL. Go back to my dashboard. Under pages, all pages. Here I have my resorts draft that I'm working on. But I want to go to the home page. View page. And I'd like the join now to take me to the same page as the join tab does here. So I'll click on this. So I'm now on the enrollment page. Let me drop this page down just a little bit so you can see the URL bar. And the part of the URL that I want to use here is everything after the website name starting with the slash store. I don't want to take the entire URL as that's going to be different for each duplicated website or replicated website. So I just want the part that's the slash store. So I'll copy this and I'll go back to WordPress and I'll go back down to my button, select edit, and I'll paste in that slash store part of the URL. Okay, save this. Now I also need to adjust my checklist so that last item, breathtaking, would fit in. So I'm going to reduce the size down to 31 and we'll see if that helps. Go on up to preview and that looks pretty good. So I can continue to adjust this. There's all kinds of features that allow you to make all kinds of changes. If I go to join now it should take me to the correct page and it does. So I'll go back to the home page and the last thing I need to do is link it to the resorts tab. So I'll go to edit page. So first thing I'm going to do is publish this page. Then under appearance, drop down to menus. And here's my new resorts page. So the old resorts page, I want to get rid of it. So I'll click remove. Then I'll check the new one. Add to menu. I'd like it to be the second thing on the list. And save menu. So now I can go back to the home page. Refresh it. We'll select resorts. And it takes us to the correct page. So hope that's all been helpful. Thanks for watching.